Hello and welcome back to part two of this video where we're looking at the flats calibration wizard and the flats wizard within sequence generator pro um, now we went through the flats calibration in the previous video um, so we've now got all the data that we need within the particular profile that we're using for this sequence now we've set up a new sequence so for this demonstration I've just called it example target and we've got the sequence running on that target now you can have multiple targets if you want and you can just set up um, flats for each of those targets in this example we've just got the single target so what I want to do now is to apply the flats which um, are going to be using the flats calibration data from the previous video to this particular sequence now there's various options for, for applying the flats to a particular target so what we do is we go into tools flats wizard and it will give us all the options that we've got now by default and the one that, which I use is to add flat events to a new target so that means that when you've got the example target here the flats will be added to a completely new target and that will be called example target flats so you'll have two targets in there and it will cycle through your lights and then drop on to your flats directly after that that's the way that I prefer to use it because I like to keep the flats and the, the light events uh, separate. You can add your flat events to the selected target after the last event in the target. And this is the other option that I may use, uh, which means that you, you'll only have the single target, but then after all your light events, all your flat events will get added on. I mean, that's fine again. It, it's sort of easy to keep track of everything. And the other option is to add a light event uh, a flat event sorry after each light event so you'll have light flat light flat I have tried that out and I, I've just found that a little bit messy um, my preferred method is to have it as a new target and there's the options to add uh, pauses before and after each event now the thing that's very important which is on the note here is that flats will only be added to the sequence for any particular event that is highlighted or ticked if you don't have a tick on a particular event um, it won't add flats for that that event so every event that you're running as a light you need to make sure it's ticked and then that will add a flat for that particular event so we click OK and then you'll see it's added a new target to the target list we've now got example target flats and this is the sequence now for the flats so if we click on the example target you see these are the light events and if we click on the example target flats you see these are the flat events this exposure data is what's picked up from the profile uh, using the information that was going from the um, from the flats calibration wizard and that changes per binning event and all we do then is just click run sequence and that will now run through the sequence starting at example target so your main targets your light events and then automatically straight after that in my case where I've got the, uh, the the flat box it will automatically close the flat box and then run through the flat events if you use a, a flat panel perhaps on the wall of your observatory or such like or if you have a flat panel that you want to put on the end of your telescope with it facing upwards you can add a pause uh, before the the flat events and then put your flat box on and then click run and it will will go and, and do all your flats this is a, a really really useful feature I mean it just saves so much time and effort for when you're setting up a, a sequence it, I use it all the time it never fails it's a very very good feature of sequence generator pro certainly one that I would recommend if you haven't tried it yet give it a go because once you're used to doing it it um, it saves loads of times loads of time loads of effort so um, hopefully this has been helpful um, if you like the videos, then please subscribe and uh, I'll carry on making them. So hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.